Residents at the University of South Alabama are finding new ways to deal with their anxiety and depression. Some, in fact, are opting in and having a therapy pet. Many people confuse therapy animals with service animals. The primary purpose of a therapy animal is to provide affection and comfort to those who need it. And those here at USA are adding pet to the dorm checklist. I have a therapy cat just given the fact that I go through a lot with my depression and anxiety. And a lot of times you don't always want to listen to just the medicinal needs. And with ownership comes responsibility. Taking care of an animal can lead to a couple of extra chores throughout the day. That includes taking care of it as well as cleaning up after it. And even with some extra chores, a therapy animal can help you balance out your life. They give you a sense of calmness and love. Given how spontaneous he is, it creates a lot of activity, a lot of drive for me to not have to like stay in bed and feel like I'm just hopeless and can't really do anything. It gives me a second sense of purpose to have to take care of like him. And then of course, in a sense, he kind of senses when I have my issues. There are those that believe that having a pet can lead to distractions, however. It just makes me want to have more drive about getting up to take care of myself because I know I have to take care of him because no one else will, so. Colleges are becoming more acceptable to therapy pets, but they aren't the only places that are becoming more pet friendly. In fact, airports allow you to carry your best friend with you. Stores like Home Depot and Lowe's will let you shop with them in your cart. Having your animal near you will give you a sense of comfort and emotional yeah. support, and an increasing number of students believe they can benefit yeah, right from just that. <laughs> Alyssa Carsley, JAG-TV.